If you want to show, tell, or teach somebody something, Prezi is the right storytelling tool to use because it's fun, fun, and free. Now let's see how can you get more out of your asynchronous online presentation by adding your own voice to the visuals. First and foremost, finish your Prezi. Don't start to add your voice to it till it's completely ready. This way you can avoid a lot of unnecessary work. If your Prezi is ready, record your speech divided into small fragments slide by slide or by Prezi terminology, pass step by pass step. If your Prezi consists of 20 slides, then you must have 20 voice fragments. For your voice recording, you can use QuickTime Player on Mac or Sound Recorder on Windows. Or anything else, just make sure that the outcome is in one of the listed formats and its size is under 50 megabytes per file. When your sound files are ready, go back to your Prezi and click on one of your slides on the left hand side. Now let's try the first one. You will notice your click by the orange frame appearing around the slide and by seeing that given slide on your whole screen. Then click Insert and add VoiceOver to pass that. If it's uploaded, click Done or just click anywhere else. If you want to delete the sound from that pass step, click on the grey color sound stripe and then throw the file away. Check your piece of art in present mode where you will see that the sound or voice inserted starts right when you reach the given point of the path and ends when it comes to an end by itself or when stepping to the next pass step. That means your sound won't be repeated even if you are the same pass step for an hour or so. There's another way to add your speech to your Prezi by clicking on insert and add background music. This background music starts by the first pass step and will start over and over and over again until presenting. If you choose this way, you have to record your speech in one file in the formats mentioned above and still under 50 megabytes. But in this case, your speech won't be connected to any past steps, but rather flow along your visual presentation. It's up to your audience, who clicks along your frezzy, to decide when to make a step forward in the path. So the speech and the visuals can lapse easily, which makes your audience difficult to focus on your content. Anyway, how would they know when to switch? I think this solution is a bit confusing and not the most adequate one. And because of this, I suggest to use the first solution, adding voiceovers to every, every, every single pass step. So when one speech fragment has ended, your audience will notice it and recognize that they probably have to make a step forward. Happy zooming!